Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for joining me. Now today I'm going to be doing 10 cards with the Simon Says Stamp September 2018 kit. This is called Sea Treasure. In this kit you get a piece of 8.5 by 11 Nina 80 pound cardstock and this beautiful embossed um, luxury embossed paper from Tonic. It's called Deep Sea Dive. You get a 6 by 6 aqua glitter paper. You get two metallic envelopes which are so pretty. You get a lavender and a white. You get a bag of sea treasure sequins. Um, also, of course, you get your stamp set, which is a six by eight, so it's a larger stamp set with some beautiful mermaid elements. Lots of little fishies in there, Just fun elements to create some cards. You get two Distress Oxide inks, Tumbled Glass, and Stormy Sky. And then you also get, I'm excited about this, is a Simon Says Stamp Clear Embossing and Watermark ink pad. Um, and again, you get some ultra-fine embossing powder. This one is called Mermaid, and it's by Simon Says Stamp 2, um, which is wonderful. But we're going to jump in with our card, first card. We're going to start off by doing some stamping. So I pulled out my Mini Misty, and I'm going to stamp um, one of the mermaids. There's one that's sitting on a rock, one that's holding a starfish. This is the one I grabbed here. And then there's another one that is holding a seashell. But I'm going to ink up my mermaid with some Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink and then I'm also going to stamp a few of the little starfish and my ink pad here is super juicy and so I had to I stamped more than I needed I only actually used four um, extra starfishes but um, um, extra inky ink pad is on is good sometimes <laughs> but it's hard for me because I'm heavy-handed Okay, now I cut out a panel. We're going to cut out a panel here. That's three and a half inches by four and three quarters. And then I also cut out a piece of that beautiful deep sea dive luxury embossing paper that's going to fit right behind it, leaving me a little bit of a border. I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment for this card. I chose Make a Wish Upon a Starfish. I'm going to use my anti static powder tool and go over my panel there. We're going to go ahead and stamp it with the Simon Says Stamp. Um, clear embossing powder, which is works fantastic. Usually I'm a Versamark girl, but this stuff works really good. I'm going to go over it with a mermaid um, embossing powder, which is beautiful because it has, not only is it blue, but it has some um, sparkle in there, and I thought it coordinates with that pattern paper beautifully. Once we have that melted, we're going to go ahead and adhere this panel um, on our embossed paper there. We're just going to center it. And you can see, to save time, guys, I colored in all of my images ahead of time, and I fussy cut them out. Now, if you have a scan and cut or a silhouette, it would probably work great for all these um, intricate little images, but I just fussy cut them out. But I'm going to pop up my mermaid and my little stars with some foam squares. And then in my stash, I have some little iridescent stars. These are by Studio Cadea. And I'm going to add a few stars, kind of trailing up a little bit. And then for finishing touches, I'm going to go around my little mermaid tail with some Nouveau Glitter Drops. These are White Blizzard. It's a beautiful iridescent. Kind of matches my little iridescent stars there. I'm going to give her little tail some sparkle, along with a little starfish there. And then that finishes off my first card. Here's a close-up. Cool. Now for card number two, I am going to do some more stamping. But this time I'm going to stamp the treasure chest and two pieces of the greenery. Two of the smaller ones and then two of the larger ones. And I decided also to stamp the little turtle. And again, I'm going to color in all of these guys and then fussy cut them out. Um, just for time purposes because the video did run a little bit long but here they are all colored in I chose two different colors of greens and then I wanted those other little plants to be bright colors so I chose a pink and then like a teal now for my background I'm going to use this distress oxide ink I started off with the stormy sky and then I'm going to blend in my tumbled glass and then for the bottom I wanted to create some sand so I'm going to take some vintage photo 
Distress Oxide ink and I'm going to fill in that bottom area. Now I did go ahead and add water to it and then I used my heat gun to dry it. This way I can stamp my sentiment. For my sentiment for this card I chose Sea Treasure and the Simple Things which is appropriate for that little treasure, treasure chest there. I placed it in my Mini Misty. I'm just going to ink it up with some VersaFine Onyx Black ink and we'll stamp, stamp that in the bottom. Okay, now we're going to kind of play around with our scene arrangement. Um, I know my treasure chest I'm going to pop up with some foam tape and then also one of the green greenery elements and then um, my sea turtle also. We're just going to kind of play around with our placement here. Okay. Once I have everything popped up and, and glued down, I think that creates a real fun scene. I in the stamp set there's these itty bitty bubbles so I decided to use the stormy sky and stamp a few around my little scene and then I'm going to take some of the tumble glass and one more of those little bubbles and fill in those open areas. So we have kind of have two toned bubbles there. I did fill in the bubbles with my Nuvo glitter drops. I used the same white blizzard. It'll dry real pretty iridescent and then just to add a little something extra I went in with some um, simply white Nuvo drops to add a little bit of white in that background. For my treasure chest I chose some honey gold Nuvo glitter drops. We're gonna fill in that treasure chest with some nice little sparkle. I did adhere this panel. All my cards today are A2 size, so they're four and a quarter by five and a half inches. But I popped my panel up with foam tape and placed it on my card base. And that is card number two. Now for card number three, I wanted to use this beautiful glitter paper. So I'm taking a heart die from my stash. I'm going to cut out a heart. It's on the larger side. And then I colored in my little mermaid that's sitting on the rock, a little turtle, and then one of the little seahorses. Okay, the panel size that I'm using is four inches by five and a quarter. And I know I want to offset my heart a little bit. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go to the right or left, but I end up going to the right. So we're just going to tape this down to my panel. Lovely. We're going to add some foam squares behind the mermaid, add a little bit of dimension. And then for the sentiment, I'm going to use the watermark ink that came with this month's kit. And I stamped the sentiment that says beauty comes from within. I'm just going to go over it with the mermaid embossing powder. And I did heat set it and then trimmed it down. We're going to attach the sentiment directly to the mermaid. And then just using my scissors, I am going to angle off the, the rest of that part of the sentiment. So we'll place that to the left of our heart there. Then we'll go ahead and add our little sea turtle and our little seahorse. We're going to place this panel in the center of our card base and then anything that's um, overhanging we'll just use our scissors to trim off. And then for again a little bit of sparkle I'm going to go back in with the Nuvo glitter drops. These are um, the white blizzard. And then I did decide to add some droplets, clear droplets. Just to add a little bit of something extra there. I decided to go over the shell in her hair and then um, her little shell top and then her little mermaid tail with the glitter drops here. And then that finishes off card number three. Okay, for card number four, we're going to do some more stamping here. We're going to use the same mermaid that was sitting on the rock again. And I'm just going to ink her up with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink this time. I did stamp um, three of the little itty bitty fishes. Fish, 
<laughs> I always call them fishes. So if you hear me, if you talk, if you hear me talking about fishes, um, it's I know they're fish, plural, but I call them fishies. <laughs> okay, and I also stamp three of the little um, sea greenery, four of them. Now I'm going to go ahead and color all of my images in, and then fussy cut them out. And we're all good to go here. I'll give you a close-up. I want to use some bright colors for the fish, so. Okay, for my sentiment, I cut out a small panel here. This panel is, uh, I used a stitched rectangle die that was 2 and 5 eighths by 1 and 3 eighths, and it would fit my sentiment perfect. I chose, there are a million fish in the sea, but you are a mermaid. I thought that was so cute. I'm just going to stamp it with some VersaFine Onyx Black ink right in the center. Okay, now we're going to build our little scene. We're going to, I did decide to add a little bit of color in my background. So I'm going to grab some of the Tumble Glass Distress Oxide ink. We're going to just add some foam squares behind our sentiment real fast. I just wanted to add a little bit of shading. So concentrating in the center and just kind of blending out. Then we'll go ahead and add our sentiment to the very bottom. I'm going to grab the mermaid just to make sure that everything will fit on my panel. I wanted her to be sitting on top of the sentiment here. We'll go ahead and add some foam squares behind our mermaid. Place her right on top. Okay, now using some glue, we're going to glue down the greenery directly to our panel, kind of tucking underneath the sentiment and behind our little mermaid rock there. For these cards, um, I wanted to create some different cards, guys. I, I um, Versatile cards. So you'll see that I only used the mermaid four times in these ten cards. Okay, I'm going to pop up my little fish. We're just going to arrange our little fish around our scene. And one more. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of the treasure chest sequence just for a little bit of sparkle. I'm going to flip this panel over and use my tape runner and adhere that to our card base. And then for a little bit of extra sparkle, I'm going to go over just my mermaid's hair and then her little tail with my Wink Estella clear shimmer pen. And then that finishes off card number four. Okay, now for card number five, I have a panel here we're going to actually cut out a, f a window frame. So the outside of the frame measures three inches by four and a quarter, and then that inside will measure two inches by three and a, um, three and a quarter. I just ran both of them through my die cut machine and then added foam tape behind my frame. Now I kept the inside piece, and we're going to do a little shading with the tumble glass. And then over the very top, I'm going to add a little bit of the stormy sky. These are my favorite two colors that I, I like creating sky scenes with too. And then for the bottom, I am going to add a little bit of vintage photo as if it were a little sand area. Okay, now we're going to stamp our sentiment. Sentiment I chose says, I'm pretty sure your birthstone is a seashell. I'm just going to stamp that on white cardstock with my VersaFine ink. And then I did just block it off and trim it out. Now we're going to do stamp our elements while we're at it here. So we're going to stamp the larger shell two times, the smaller shell two times. And then I am going to take that greenery again and we'll stamp that a couple times. And then I did end up stamping the little seahorse. 
and again I'm just going to use my Copic markers to color in all my images and then I'll just fussy get those out. Okay, we're ready to go now. Um, I did cut out another panel that's slightly small, uh, larger than my frame. So that panel is three and a half inches by four and three quarters. So we're kind of matting our frame on that that other panel. I like the layered look and I like the stitching all the way around. I think it looks really neat. Now I'm going to add the inside of my background right in the center, just using my tape runner. And then I did add my elements around my little frame. The very back one I glued down directly to the panel and then the front little greenery I glued down right on top of the frame. We're just gluing down our little seashells and I did go ahead and add foam squares behind my little seahorse. Lovely, this is going to go directly in the center of my card base in just a minute. I'm going to use some clear droplets and my wink of Stella for some bells and whistles and that finishes off that card. Okay, now for card number six, again, st stamping our little fishes this time. Um, I stamped all three of them and then the seahorse as well. I stamped them twice and then we're going to stamp this little greenery three times, but I end up not using it. I decided to stamp directly on my panel. Now I'm going to flip my panel over and we're going to do a little bit of ink blending with starting off with the stormy sky and then we're going to blend in the tumbled glass. Now for this card I did bring in a die from my stash. I chose, it's an MFT die called Celebrate and so I wanted it to have that gradient of color so I'm going to die cut that out and I'm also going to die cut out two more of the Celebrates. Now I already adhered one to my colored in celebrate. We're layering all three together just to add a little bit of dimension to the sentiment. Just using my glue. Okay, now once we have this done, I thought we need a little bit more sparkle, so I'm going to take some of the aqua glitter paper and I'm going to cut out that celebrate with the glitter paper and it cuts beautifully, I have to say. I'm going to add some glue behind my sentiment and then I'm going to offset it this time just so that sparkle will be peeking out behind my celebrate. And I love this effect, I think the sparkle just adds a lot to the card here. I'll give you a close-up of what it looks like here. It looks so pretty. Okay, now we're going to take that leaf that we stamped earlier but didn't use and stamp this directly on our panel. Now this panel is um, three and a half inches by four and three quarters. We're going to make a side folding card. And then I'm just going to stamp that greenery three times in the background. And then I did color them in um, with my Copic markers. I didn't do no shading because it was the areas were so little. But we're going to glue down our sentiment right in the center. Okay, I'm going to add some dimensional adhesive behind my little fish. And I ran out so I had to get a, a new pack here. These are like the perfect size for those itty bitty fishes. Once we have them all at, um, popped up, we're going to add those to our background scene. Lovely. Now, just for a little something more, I'm taking those little bubbles that were in the stamp set and using both the oxide inks, I just stamped them for my background. We're going to go ahead and adhere this panel to a side folding A2 size card base. And then I did decide to stamp the sentiment that says, Happy Birthday Beautiful. I just blocked it off. We're going to add a piece of foam tape behind there and pop that up right across the sentiment um, that says Celebrate. Now I did go ahead and add the White Blizzard Nouveau Glitter Drops to my bubbles. 
so my bubbles were all wet when I added the sentiment so I'm just cleaning it up a little bit but that finishes off that card I think it's something a little bit different guys so if you have any large word senti uh, sentiment dies I think the little fish create a real nice scene in the background okay card number seven I stamped and colored in my little mermaid that was holding the seashell and I grabbed this wonky stitched um, die for my stash um, I'll leave links below to all the the dies and stuff that I used that was outside the kit but this creates a real fun wonky stitch line but I thought it kind of looked like little ocean greenery so I die cut it on that panel and that panel is four inches by five and a quarter four times and I made them different lengths um, across that panel I did die cut out a circle frame and I'm adding some foam tape behind it we just glued that down to the center of our panel and then added our mermaid and the little greenery now we're gonna add some dimensional adhesive behind three of our little fish and place them around our little scene also for the sentiment for this card I'm gonna stamp it on some black cardstock the sentiment says mermaid looks good on you <laughs> so cute I'll use my anti-static powder bag and go over my black cardstock first and then we'll use the Simon Says Stamp clear embossing powder or embossing watermark ink pad <laughs> which works great I'm, I'm impressed with this just gonna grab some white embossing powder and I'm gonna go over my sentiment my embossing powder guys I found this the neatest storage for this okay there's a lot of um, um, storage options but I have a little clear drawer set that I it's a three-piece set and it's a little bit smaller than an A2 size card base and I just filled all my embossing powders in it I have my white my clear and my silver those are the ones I use the most but um, works fantastic for embossing and it it stores them nice and neat I'm gonna do a video later on on how I store my stuff so um, keep a lookout for that but I did add a little bit of sparkle with my white blizzard added some droplets and that finishes off that card okay card number eight again we're gonna do a little bit more stamping a lot of coloring in this I wanted to create the, a real simple card to me this is um, an underwater flourish but I thought it kind of looked like a desert succulent <laughs> so I colored them in as if they were succulents um, coloring the flowers with different colors with, of my Copic markers and then I did create a small um, rectangle panel using a scalloped stitched rectangle die um, I'm going to stamp the sentiment that says hello gorgeous just using my VersaFine ink this card's super simple and then you can see I also cut out a rectangle with my scallop die um, with the embossed paper I just arranged my little succulents four in a row right above my little sentiment I popped them up with some foam squares and then we'll attach this panel to the embossed paper here and then we'll add some foam tape behind here and then we'll place that on our card base this could be a side folding card base and I didn't add no bells or whistles or shimmer or shine I just want to keep this very clean and simple and that finishes off that card okay card number eight I'm gonna use my anti-static powder tool and we're gonna to stamp our sentiment sentiment I chose says is one we used earlier but it says I'm pretty sure your birthstone is a seashell we're gonna create another uh, sea scene stamping it with some VersaFine ink and I'm gonna go over it with the clear embossing powder and you can see the size of these little drawers love them so far I thought the static would affect because it's a clear acrylic drawer but it works out beautifully I'll go ahead and melt that embossing powder and then we're gonna do some ink blending right over the top of this we're gonna start off with the lighter color which is the um, tumbled glass and then we'll do a little shading with the stormy sky right below it 
and then just to ground everything I'm going to go in on the bottom with some vintage photo. Next I have a frame die from my stash. I'm going to cut out a frame and the frame is actually going to cut out the centerpiece also. Add a little bit of water to activate that ink. Give it a little bit of texture and just blot it off with my towel. Here's my little frame and I'll leave link links below. This is a frame from MFT but we're going to cut out our panel. I'm going to cut out a white frame also. Okay, my white frame is going to go layered. We're not going to use the frame that it, that die created. Well, you're going to use the white one. We're going to go ahead and adhere this panel directly to another panel that's four inches by five and a quarter in the center. Yep, we're going to add some foam tape behind here. And then I did leave an area on the very bottom so where I could add um, using my tape runner, add some glue behind there. And then I'm going to glue a few of the green, these little elements that we colored in and stamped, or stamped and colored in and fussy cut. <laughs> I added three of them to the bottom of my frame with some foam tape. And then these ones we're going to glue directly on our background panel. Just kind of arranging our little scene. We'll go ahead while we're at it and glue down our little seashells. And then I did um, color in the little seahorse and then two of the fish that were facing the same way. There's a large and a small one. I'm going to add some dimensional adhesive behind those and add those to our panel. Now for this card I'm going to use the treasure chest sequins that came in the kit. I'm just going to trail them kind of up towards the sentiment and then on the bottom since it was very busy corally background I wanted to fill in any open areas where that vintage photo was with those sequins. Just to add a little bit of sparkle down there. But that finishes off card number nine. Okay, for my final card today, we're gonna make a shaker card. So I'm gonna take a stitched rectangle die and also a circle die from my stash and create a window in this panel. I'm just gonna use my glue. I'm gonna flip my, well, these are the elements we're gonna use. The greenery and the, tre the treasure chest. I colored those in and fussy cut them out but use my glue to add a piece of acetate behind my window. And then I'll go ahead and double up on my foam tape and place it all over this background panel. Now, I'm going to remove the release paper off of my foam tape and I wasn't sure if I wanted my treasure chest and my greenery to be on the inside of my shaker window or the outside but I, I opted for the outside. For my background for the shaker I'm going to use some of the deep sea dive luxury embossing paper from Tonic. I just trimmed it down to where it fit behind that window and we'll, we're going to glue this down directly to our card base. and it fits beautifully, just making sure. And I decided to go for the, for the elements to be on top. So we're gonna grab our sequins. I'm gonna use almost all of them, but I did leave just a few for the outside of my, my panel. And I used the entire bag from this month's kit. I thought the, the muted gold with the bright gold just were, made a beautiful sequin mix. And I like all the different sizes in it. But we're going to go ahead and adhere our panel over the top of our sequins. And they move around beautifully. And then I'm going to play with the scene, my placement of the greenery in my treasure chest. After I got that done, I realized I didn't stamp my sentiment. So I did it after the fact. And I got lucky it stamped beautifully. I just used um, the Simon Says Stamp Mermaid embossing powder for my sentiment. And the sentiment says, see treasure in the simplest things. And I did decide to rearrange my treasure chest and my greenery there. I went from the left to the right. <laughs> now, all the extra sequins I placed inside my little treasure chest and then on the bottom and then kind of a little bit around my sentiment. 
and I used every last drop of them and they turned out so pretty. But that finishes off card number 10. Here's a close up. There's close up pictures over on my blog too guys if you want to check it out. But here's a look at all 10 cards that I made today. I hope this gives you some different ideas on how to use the kit. I know it was um, kind of a mermaid themed kit but I wanted to kind of do versatile cards and I hope this gives you some different ideas. I really think the bright colors with the mermaids just turned out so pretty. I'm not sure if kits are available, but if they are, guys, I'll leave links in the description area for you. Um, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope your weekend is going well. I wish you a fantastic day, and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye, guys.